Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for your love and support. I am so grateful. If to those of us that you are seeing my eyes and my face for the first time, this is Agatha Progress China and I come across your way every blessed day. Thank you very much to you that always share my video, like and comment. I am grateful. I so much appreciate you all. God wish to bless you. All right, let's go move into the reason why we are here today. Hope you do enjoy the video. Now, watch it. Let's go. The zoo government has been a liar and they will get it from us red and blue this time around. Hello everyone, let's go into the news in details. The military personnel were sighted on Monday evening on Upper Iweka Road in Onisha with roadblocks for possible stop and shake. There is a heavy military presence currently in some parts of Onisha. Anabra, to be precise, of Nigeria, military have been deployed to arrest Eastern Security Network operatives who have been legally to be the rapping gunmen wasted on in the process. Only last week, some gunmen attacked some police stations and goes away with their gun and equipment. Hmm. This is so wonderful. Killing policemen and going into the station and their offices. The government killed policemen in all local government in in all local government checkpoints. Why three weeks ago they killed about four policemen in Aguta? Hmm. The military was not spread also as the government killed soldiers. At an art post hmm, in the same local government area of Anabra, there is a heavy military presence in Nonisha. Some some roads have been blocked and areas condemned off by the trip. It is obviously that they are looking for Eastern Security Network and other militants. The militant is engaged in one or two killings by government in Anabra. There is no movement around anywhere in Onisha presently because everybody is running up and down. Yesterday evening, as the soldiers blocked everywhere, the shooting was mush. A source said, I also got informed from my driver that Upper Iweka Road was affected. Another resident narrated, the Eastern Security Militants are legally to be behind the attack on armies and navy in Onisha. The military even lost some of their weapons during the attack. The police deployers are looking for Eastern Security Network and indigenous people of Biafra members, another source said. Sarah reporters as on Monday reported that some yet to be identified gunmen shoot rapidly in all area in Onisha. So let us now get something clear here. You know, a uh, Nigeria government they are easily they, they easily come out to cry out. They easily come out to shout and said, Oh, we need help, we need help, we need help. But do you know that these people purposely look for Eastern Security Network? That is why we said they got what they deserve. We are out for them this time around, as the saying said, no Biafra no peace they will never get peace anywhere they are you see they easily crack i know that when i saw the news i knew that they will definitely say that the the unknown government they are eastern security network members we know that but they are going to see pepper from our hand so since unknown government has been killing people and nobody is talking let them bear the consequences because eh, we are out for them that is all for this news. Now watch something and I will pray back. for our Igbo brothers and sisters, wherever you are all over the world. I want to give you a prophecy of what God told me. You know, uh, over the years in life, uh, from the days of the Israelites, till now God has been using prophets to direct nations, to direct people on certain things to do. 
kings used to consult prophets in those days we prophets the kings would consult the prophets and ask them you know certain things the prophets will review and then tell the mind of the lord and the king will be able to follow things the way he got from the prophet and then things will be okay so now here is the prophecy or oh, this what i can call the most powerful prophecy on biafra you know there has been a lot of uh, news agitation biafra and things like that but let me show you what the lord showed me about biafra and i'm going to read it exactly the way i saw it in the realm of the spirit and it came to pass as the pressure increased both from above and from abroad that an assembly gathered and i saw in the realm of the spirit those in power at that time speaking and saying it is time for conception it is time for conception we will allow you have what you want it is time for conception and at that time when it was being spoken in that assembly it was a very good one with very good conditions and the conditions were so great for a great people to begin to reign but when it was time for the beneficiaries to speak there were opposing voices in the camp of those who are actually the greatest beneficiary of the assembly and when they were dry, when there were these opposing voices the assembly was called off because these opposing voices we are coming from the rising of the sun the place where there is a rising of the sun an assembly was called off and another day it came to pass that the assembly gathered again for the second time and in that assembly i saw men on white skin far behind backing and supporting the men and women and the great people from the rising of the sun and when it was time for the people from the rising of the sun to speak again there we are dissenting voices and the voice of the lord came from above and he said this is my people great people whom i have chosen whom i have loved i have given them power even to succeed in a very harsh condition for everywhere they enter around the world no matter the condition i give them power to succeed he said i have given them wisdom to operate in a very high dimension and he said however if they desire the greatest which i have already given to them the greatest thing which is to be one of the richest people a great people a great nation in the world that can be heard all over the nations of the earth he said then there shall be a sacrifice which is love and unity love and unity and he sounded it seven times upon the mystery of the seven spirits this is the word of the lord for all the evils scattered around the whole world ye are great people of the lord chosen for greatness in all situations be prayerful the days of your joy is at hand but remember this sacrifice must be made no one gets great things without a sacrifice the sacrifice of love and unity shall be what you will do that is the message for all the people of the Hebrew race worldwide the days of greatness is at hand do you want to be the one to enjoy this heavenly i see power from above i see power from abroad both power from above and abroad we are all backing you do you want to enjoy it if you want to enjoy it make the sacrifice now do you want your children to be the one enjoy it then take your decision i pray for everyone that belong to this very race the almighty god has called you great and choosing people 
People that succeed in all conditions. People who are given grace to succeed at all conditions. People who are given great wisdom. Therefore, receive the grace and the power of the Spirit of the Lord. So that the desires shall be done as you wish. May the Lord prosper your children. May the Lord bring you to the desire of your joy. May the Lord give you long life. May the Lord make you great people. May the Lord bring the glory and the great blessings of Israel upon you. May you may enjoy the blessings of Abraham. Share this video to every evil man and evil woman you know that they may go into prayers and fast and pray the way Esther did for their people. And you shall be blessed. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ that cover the whole people from the rising of the sun with the blood of Jesus. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. But then there must be love and unity amongst you to achieve the greatest. God bless you. Bye bye. Those that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Those that have ears, let them hear what the Spirit is saying. Give us Biafra and be free, or else, no peace. My word, that is all about this video. Hope you do enjoy this video. Please don't forget to like this video and share this video. Your opinion is highly needed in the comment section. And if you are passing across this video for the first time, you are passing across this channel for the first time, and you haven't subscribed, you haven't joined this family, what are you then waiting for? Please do it to subscribe and turn on the bell icon for more latest updates. See you again in my next post shortly. I see you when I see you. Peace out.